Let's go. Hi guys and welcome to my kitchen. I am Dara, aka the Skinny Pig, and I am the Skinny Pig because I like to eat everything that is terrible for you. So bacon, anything deep fried, covered in cheese, cooked in gravy, I love all that shit. I'm going to be taking some of my favorite dishes from restaurants that I go to and kind of putting my own little skinny pig twist on them. So my inspiration for today's dish uh, is coming from Artichoke Pizza here in Manhattan. So Artichoke, they're known mostly for their artichoke slice. So I know that sounds a little weird, but if you've ever had spinach and artichoke dip, this is essentially spinach and artichoke dip on pizza. It's cheesy, it's bubbly and creamy and messy and greasy and disgustingly delicious, frankly. Um, I usually eat it around 3 a.m. when I'm drunk, but what I wanna do is take the elements from that pizza and put it into a pasta dish. That's gonna be my little skinny pig twist on it. So let's get started with wilting of something. Skinny pig don't cook without butter, ever. Start adding the rest of our ingredients. This is the easy part, AKA the best part. So artichokes, cream cheese, Parmesan cheese and garlic are all gonna go right in here. So the first time I actually had artichoke pizza was back in college, I think, and um, I was super drunk. It was maybe like 3 a.m., 3.30, something like that, and I remember taking that first bite and just being like, holy shit, this is so delicious. <laughs> so fun fact of why I'm called the skinny pig, because some people are probably wondering where that came from, is that um, I was a dancer way back in my day, so ballet, tap, jazz, and all that, Jazz. And um, I just used to eat a shit ton of food, and usually bad food, frankly, like uh, cheese fries, like for lunch, like that was just my lunch, was just cheese fries. And then somebody just randomly called me a skinny pig one day, and that nickname just kind of stuck. There's like, fuck you and your skinny girl margaritas. Sorry, don't say that. <laughs> or maybe say that. And then I'm going to also add my cream cheese, this nice little tanginess and creaminess. Anytime you make spinach artichoke dip, it's usually gonna have cream cheese, and again, some people would substitute for something else, but I like to keep it nice and fattening, so screw it. Then we also have our mozzarella over here. Dump that in there. Look at that. Cheese perfection. Okay. And here we go, bringing it back to the stove. In here you need to make sure it's over a low heat just to kind of bring everything together. You'll see, it's gonna be delicious. And we're gonna grab our pasta, so I'm actually using spinach linguine here. Um, a, I like the color, and B, it makes me feel a little bit better about myself that I'm putting some more spinach into my body. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's bubbling. Mm. Sorry, I know I sound completely insane. Now we're going to take the pasta directly from the pot and we're just gonna put it right in here. In this case, you don't really need to drain it. A little bit of pasta water is actually good. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God, yum. I'm starving. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this now back over here just to finish this off so you can see it's all beautiful, cheesy deliciousness. And I have a little casserole dish right here that I sprayed with a little bit of, you know, cooking spray just so it nothing really sticks. I'm gonna get every last drop of cheese that we possibly can. Better than that. So we have the rest of the Parmesan cheese because this is what's gonna make it all nice and brown and bubbly on top once we put it into the broiler. Just throw the mozzarella on, no real method. And that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna pop it into the broiler. Just kind of keep your eye on it because it's gonna bubble and get brown and delicious, but you don't want it to burn. Our artichoke pizza pasta bake has been broiling for about seven, eight minutes now. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna eat it. And I'm excited about it. Mm. Oh my good God. Mmm, bubbly cheese. Smells amazing. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of cheese in my mouth right now. I think the spinach pasta and the fresh spinach in there, along with all the cheese and the creaminess and the tang from the cream cheese, it's just, it's really, really good. It's, it's such a good dish. This is my skinny pig twist on artichoke pizza turned into a pasta. And for other recipes of mine, you can find this one on my blog on my website, which is theskinnypignyc.com. You can find that on here. You can find all the other gluttonous recipes on there as well. So enjoy.